There are a number of ways to play back your score in Sibelius. Since you're now familiar with the ribbon, let's start there. Click on the Play tab and look at the Transport group. The buttons are fairly self-explanatory, so let's just experiment with them. As Sibelius plays back, the green playback line moves over the music to show us where the score is playing. If we stop it and then start it again, it continues from the point of the green playback line. You can see even more playback controls if you open the transport panel. To do this, go to the View tab and then find Transport under the Panels group. In addition to the buttons you saw in the ribbon, are a readout and two sliders. The timeline slider moves the playback line and the other changes the tempo to make Sibelius's playback faster or slower. There are also some extra buttons, you'll find out what these do later on, and MIDI out and in indicators. Playback can also be controlled with keyboard shortcuts. Press spacebar to start and stop playback and use the left and right square brackets to rewind and fast forward. If you're lucky enough to own an M Audio Axiom Pro keyboard, it has a fancy feature called Hyper Control, which will allow you to control Sibelius's playback with its buttons. You'll learn lots more about Hyper Control in Lesson 5. If you're not very impressed with the quality of sounds in Sibelius, you probably haven't installed or switched your playback to Sibelius 7 sounds. If your computer is fast enough to work with the 40 gigabytes of samples included with Sibelius, you'll certainly notice a marked improvement in playback quality. Switch to Sibelius 7 sounds playback by going to the Play tab and choosing Configuration from the Setup group. Listen again, and I'm sure you'll be impressed. <laughs> 